Hi everyone, happy Vlogmas Day 15. I was going to do a work vlog today, but it is blizzarding and we are closing early. I am just about to get out of here. I have to go pick up Winnie as well because her daycare is closing early because of the snow. Like we got 10 and a half inches on Tuesday, I think it was, Tuesday to Wednesday. And then today we're getting another like four to eight, I think. I don't know, plus the winds are blowing, so whatever. It's snowing a lot here, so schools are closed. We close because we're a clinic and we have a lot of employees that are out of town. I'm gonna shut down the scanner. I scanned three patients today and now I'm leaving. <laughs> It is 1.41 and I'm home from work because work closed, like I mentioned earlier. I went and picked up Winnie and then we stopped over at my parents' house. At daycare, the lady was like, Winnie had a fun day in the snow. So Winnie loves her snow, she loves her pools. She's a water girl, although she hates baths. Not many dogs like them though. Work was okay today. Um, my cough is like the only thing that's bothering me. Feeling a little bit better otherwise. I'm just really warm after shoveling. That snow is so thick and heavy. Like usually we don't get thick, heavy snow because it's always so cold here. But since it's in like the 30s, it's just the slushy, wet, heavy stuff. Perfect for making a snowman or snowballs. So Winnie and I are home for the day. She's gonna definitely nap because she's tired. She got a treat from my dad over at my parents' house and she thinks that she can double time me and get one from me too. So she's begging at the cupboard. And I'm like, honey bun, you just had one and I watched you. She's like, I don't know. I don't know that. Hi, honey bunny. Oh my goodness. You are so tired. You so tired, angel girl? Are you so sleepy? Oh, don't close your eyes. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Neither of us have done our advent calendars in a few days. Fun! Oh, we got one of these at Grandpa and Grandma's house too. <laughs> she doesn't like them. She doesn't like balls. And we got more treats yesterday. You want some? You want some treats from the cupboard? And can you spin? Good girl. Okay, clean up that last crumb. Can you spin? Sit. Oh, down. <laughs> I stole some celery from my parents' house because I actually just threw mine away yesterday, not thinking I could easily make some soup. So I stole a few stocks from them. 
and I'll probably just make the same soup that I made yesterday, which is really simple and easy to make. So for the soup that I made, there isn't really a recipe that I followed. I just kind of eyeballed everything. I only have veggie stock right now. I don't have chicken stock, so I'm gonna use better than bouillon because there's no way I'm going to the store in this much snow. I'm not leaving for the rest of the day. And for better than bouillon, you do like a teaspoon to eight ounces of water. So I'm probably gonna do more than a teaspoon just because I don't I used veggie stock and I don't have a lot of it. This little recipe that I threw together only makes like one serving of soup, so obviously double triple it if you wanted more servings. I am being lazy today. And one for Winnie. This knife is seriously the best knife I've ever used. It's from Our Place. Highly suggest getting a good knife. So being that this is my lazy girl soup, I am literally going to soften these in the microwave rather than putting them in a pan and doing all that and then having to clean another pan. Yeah. I'm not doing it today, I don't feel like it. Put a teeny tiny bit of water at the bottom. And I just let it steam for about a minute and a half. It's very similar to like steamed veggies. The only noodles I have are these Halloween ones and they worked just fine yesterday. They actually tasted so good with the soup. So I am going to use my little holiday noodles, holiday nudes. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of parsley and a tiny bit of thyme. And I don't personally add salt or pepper since the bouillon's already very salty. Once that starts to boil, I'm gonna add in my noodles. And then you just set a timer for however long the noodles need to cook. And that's literally it. to finding a recipe that I like I am such a creature of habit of like eating it a ton of meals in a row so I think this is like my eighth meal in a row having soup mmm that's delicious mmm that's really good yummy 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 hey winners are you tired are you tired I wanted to share these goodies that Costa Brazil sent over. A little background behind Costa Brazil, they are a clean luxury concept created by Francisco Costa to capture the rich and natural essence of his native land. 
Their philosophy is simple. The spirit of beauty is inseparable from the health of the earth. Our potent ingredients are responsibly sourced from the Brazilian rainforest, many of them exclusively for us and activated using the latest laboratory technologies. And first of all, can we talk about how beautiful their packaging is? It's so minimalistic and simple and I am obsessed, but this is one of the products that I am super, super excited to try out. This is the Costa Brazil Soul Sunlight Body Oil. The Sunlight Body Oil contains vitamins A, C, E, and F, omegas 3, 6, and 9, and antioxidants. It calms, nourishes, firms, and tones, and provides a sensuous natural radiance. This would be so pretty used on the decolletage. This was a little gift of purchase. These are the Costa Brazil bath salts. They ease tension, soften skin, calm and soothe. They have mineral sea salts, camu camu, Brazilian white clay. I can't wait to take a bath with these. I'm still feeling kind of under the weather, so these sound lovely. This is the Costa Brazil body cream. This product contains vitamin A, B3, C, E, and F, omegas 3, 6, and 9, essential fatty acids, antioxidants, plant proteins, and minerals. Ooh, that feels so good. These products all smell like a spa. I love it. And we have a face serum. The face serum also contains vitamin A, C, E, and F, omegas 3, 6, and 9, essential fatty acids, and antioxidants. This is the hydrating face cleanser. It's an oil-based cleanser that transforms from a gel into a milky mixture that's soft, conditioning, and gentle on the skin. There's no fragrance added to this one. I love this. This packaging is too cute. And the last product is a hands and body wash. I decided to pick out the one that is scented, but they do offer a hand soap that is unscented as well.